Welcome ladies and gentlemen, a Mercedes kind of sentiment, luxury and trust in me to honor the free we all should be in. See my sun's out burst into yin and yang, right and left, me and you. I'm going to be baking some sweet potatoes for, for um, sweet potato pancakes. Then I'm going to have a salad for a snack with some hard boiled eggs. I am going to be doing a bacon turkey burger with 2% cheese, spinach as my side. I'm going to be using the romaine lettuce to wrap the burger in so I don't have to use bread. And some maple turkey bacon from HEB. And the good thing about this bacon is there are 6 grams of protein per slice of bacon. Now with Oscar Mayer and all the rest of the brands of turkey bacon, you only get 2 grams of protein. So, you know, I'm real big on protein. So, yeah, that's good. Okay, um, I got some chicken breast here and I'm going to be topping it with some cream of mushroom soup. That's 98% fat free and the reason why I'm doing that is I just get bored with eating plain chicken breast. Here I have five the zucchinis and five squash cut up in medallions. I'm going to steam those later. That is my George Foreman grill. I am going to spray it with some cooking spray so it doesn't stick to the grill. And for some reason the color was going in and out, the lighting was bad going in and out on the meat. I have no idea why, but please believe the meat was not that color. Now I'm just seasoning. I am a person who believes in seasoning their food. I'm not, I don't track sodium, um, so it's not a real big deal for me and I just cannot eat bland food. So, I season my food. I'm going to keep it in there for eight minutes and go ahead and put my sweet potatoes in the oven. Now I did wash them and um, poke them with the fork to make them easier to for the heat to get through them to cook. I cooked them at 350 for an hour and a half. And if you guys want a tutorial on the sweet potato pancakes, let me know and I will get that out for y'all. Now, um, this machine right here, the Aroma, I believe I got it at, yeah, I did get it at Walmart and it was no more than $35, y'all. And guess what? This machine cooks white rice, brown rice, it steams, it's a crock pot. I mean, it does it all, y'all. For less than $40 you can't beat that but today we're going to use it as a steamer Now I did start off with cooking it at 10 minutes and it was not tender enough. So when I did the second batch, I just went on and um, did it for um, 30 minutes total because when I went back and put it back on, I put it on for another, another 20 minutes and it came out to my liking. So here I'm boiling some eggs. For my salad. And for that mallet, I pounded out my chicken breast. I just cannot eat thick chicken breasts. For some reason, I just, I just, ugh, I can't. So I pound it out so it's a little thinner. 
And I got these little um, plates listening? at the Dollar Tree. Yes, ma'am, for only a dollar. And today I'm using light ranch dressing. I would usually use um, fat free, um, but since I have fats left in my macros, I'm gonna go ahead and use the light. Here I'm gonna measure out two tablespoons, which is a serving, which comes out to be, I believe, 30 grams. I live by the scale. My scale is so raggedy at this point. You can hardly see the screen. And I was trying to get my camera to focus, but it doesn't, it wasn't going to do it. But believe me, it's 30 grams each um, serving. Measure everything. You don't want to be eating two or three grams or two or three servings of something that is only supposed to be one serving. You want to know what you're getting in, what you're eating, or how much you're eating. It seems like prepping is a lot of hard work, but it really isn't. I have five days worth of meals pretty much prepped and ready to go. And it only took me, I believe it took me two hours to do all of it. That's not bad. It's a lot of work when you're doing it, but once it's done, it's done. And again, the color of the chicken was off, but it wasn't ready. I decided to leave it in there more and come on over and cut some Roman tomatoes. I believe I cut about three Roman tomatoes. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. And I believe now yeah. the chicken is done. Uh. So I came back over to the grill to take the meat off the grill. Now I didn't show this, but I did wipe the grill off with a paper towel and resprayed it. I showed me respraying it. So respraying the grill to do the next batch. For my salad as well. Have you ever fell? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Now I'm putting in some spinach uh. first. Yeah. Uh. Preparing 
the salad. I'm just putting in the romaine salad mix at this point. And I started to put the, the romaine tomatoes on the actual salad and then I thought about it and said well if the tomatoes are kind of juicy they may wilt on the salad so or the salad it may make the salad wilt so I decided to take them off and put them to the side. Are you listening? Damn. I'm also adding the onion. I don't necessarily weigh out um, yeah. vegetables. They're kind of like a free for all for me. So I eat as much as I want to. It's not a big deal. So that's why you didn't see me weighing out the spinach or the romaine um, salad blend or the onions or the tomatoes. I added in the hard boiled eggs and now it's time to pack it up. Warming up the cream of mushroom soup. Here I'm just seasoning the turkey patties. And I was able to cook all five of them at the same time. See, that's what I'm talking about. I was able to knock that out in just one thing, one big batch. And now the 
zucchini and squash is steamed to my liking so I'm going to scoop them out some to the side and do another round do another batch just making sure there was still water in there Like I said earlier, this time I'm going to go ahead and do it for the full 30 minutes. Because I did it for 10 minutes at first and they were still really, really hard. And I put it back on for another 20 and it was perfect. So I decided to do it for 30 minutes for the second round. Turkey patties are done. Time to get them packed up. And um, I'm not going to put the cheese on the burgers right now. What I'm going to do is warm them up. And when they're almost listening? done warming up, I'm going to put the cheese on top, put Damn. it back in the microwave, and let the cheese melt on top. Mm. I'm so silly. Now I'm just uh, preparing the turkey bacon. I was able to get a good amount in there in one cooking as well. Just filling up the um, plates with my side for the turkey burgers, which is spinach. And I also will have some tomato and onion on the burger and I will most likely put some honey mustard on there. Not too much. Now I did leave the bacon in there a little longer than I wanted to, but it's going to be okay. It's still going to be good. I'm not going to worry about it. It's going to be good. Please believe me. Are you listening? Damn. Okay, now a serving of the cream of mushroom soup is a half a cup. So I have my half a cup measuring cup. And I am just spooning it over the chicken breast. Um, if you guys want to know, that is seven ounces of chicken breast.
then I'm just going to spoon in some of the zucchini and squash. And again, I do not measure my vegetables. They are a free-for-all for me. I can eat as many as I want, so I'm just filling it up. And also, you guys, um, you should use MyFitnessPal.com. That is an excellent, excellent, excellent app to, app to use to um, track your macros, everything like that. And there you have it, guys. If you have any questions, want to request more videos, leave me a message. And this, um, there are the macros for my meal. Thank you guys for watching yet again. Peace.